Chris, my man, walk me through the Keystone Montana 3231CK. Well, they're seeing it for the first time. <laughs> this is the world introduction to the Montana 3231CK, Central Kitchen, however you want to put it. When we talk about fifth wheels in the RV business, Montana comes to mind. Absolutely. Because like we've always talked about, Ian, there's three guarantees <laughs> in life. We'll pass away, we'll pay taxes, and you'll see a Montana fifth wheel in a campground. And you know what the craziest thing is, Chris, is I've heard you say that time and time again over the years, and you've always been right. <laughs> there's, a, there's a reason for it. It wasn't because of Chris Stender or Ian Baker. It's because of the customers that we've had since 1999. We've been the number one selling fifth wheel since 2003. No, oh, it, it's, it's crazy. Been, it's been amazing. Over 76,000 fifth wheels that we've retail sold. Wow. And that's our specialty is fifth wheels. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of flash and trash out there these days, Ian, <laughs> but you really have to, t don't judge a book by its cover. You have to open the book up, check the chapters out and read the pages. We call it attention to detail. Okay. One thing you won't hear about is, is we, we put items in RVs that sell. We don't put the Mickey Mouse, you know, the lipstick on the pig. It's still a pig. We put a lot of features in our RVs that sell. Yep. We have more repeat buyers than any other brand in the history of the RV business, motorhomes and towables. There's okay. something to be said about that. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and we feel we've got a great floor plan lineup. We've been a lot, we've been a, a manufacturer first, introduced the first front living room mm -hmm. in 2004, the first rear den five years ago, the first front bath and a half which was based off of my in-laws motorhome came with that idea. And we said, you know, bath and a half and motorhomes are popular. Why not put it in a fifth wheel? And it's been a huge seller. Then we took the front kitchen, which another division had it. It only lasted about a year. We took it, ended up being the 2016 RV of the year. And I've got a feeling, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but I think <laughs> this floor plan right here will be the 2020 RV of the year. Yeah, it, it's it's phenomenal. I hope I don't give all the secrets away today because <laughs> i tell you how we came about this floor plan. Our top selling floor plan we have is the 3120, 3121. The reason I say two different floor plan numbers is every Montana floor plan, you can get it with an 18 cubic foot RV refrigerator or 18 cubic foot residential refrigerator. Mm -hmm. That's up to you. So if you notice, there's two floor plan numbers by each floor plan. One's an RV refrigerator, one's a residential. It's easy for us to build, for salespeople to sell, and easy for the customer to buy. Yes. What we had was we had a void. 31, okay. 20, 21 was 35 feet long. After that, we went right to 40 feet. Yep. And we had people like, we really like the shorter, we don't want a 40, 41, but we want a little longer than the 35. Sure. So after a lot of phone calls, calling dealers, analysts at Camping <laughs> World and Gander, we really couldn't come up with anything. Mm -hmm. And then our product manager at Montana put a lot of different floor plans together and came up with a 3231 CK at just under 37 feet long. That's awesome. So I'm going to show you what you get for just under 37 feet, and it's a lot of floor plan. Okay. What I want to show you first of all is most of your floor plans, your cooktop is over on the off door side in this area here. Yep. Okay. What we wanted to do was we still have the window here behind. Normally the cooktop is over here and you have your window. Yep. What we did is we took the cooktop and we moved it to the front, which I'll get to in just a moment. But look at all this counter space right here, Ian. It's huge along with your counter space that you have here on your island. Well, and Chris, the thing I love about that is it makes it functional. You, you want to talk about prep space. I mean, you can just turn around, do everything you need to do, prep right there, boom, here, here. done. A lot of manufacturers, they'll put a large pantry right here yep. with a big door, and you have minimal counter space. That's right. What we did is we gave you under the countertop pantry, okay? Notice the nice six inch deep pull out drawers, weight wow. bearing, where you can put all of your canned goods, your boxes, anything that you need. We've eliminated the big door pantries, yep. which people were getting tired of seeing because yep. you could see through them and they were just ugly. So I, I love that. You can tuck it away, put your, uh, 
your toaster and everything in there. And Absolutely. Uh, those, those slow closed drawers, by the way? Slow closed drawers. And slow cabinet doors? Doors. Doors and drawers. <laughs> That's impressive. Slow closed. That's impressive. Absolutely. One thing I want to point out also is we give you another interior. Typically, this is what we call the modern maple edition. Okay. The modern maple wood throughout. This has the cottage white optional wood core. $750 MSRP. What does it give you? In this floor plan here, how it flows from the kitchen to the family room. In your kitchen area here, notice the white cabinetry, which flows all the way around to this area right here. I love this it. This is our cottage white cabinetry. And you, it only comes available with your bourbon color, which is your chocolate sofa here. Okay. It goes hand in hand. We tried it before with our champagne, and it just, which is discontinued, just... Wasn't it, quite there. It's not there. It just doesn't pop. This yep. pops. So even in your floor plans, like your rear den, your front living room, where both ends are elevated and you have a sunken kitchen. Sure. This really stands oh, out Oh, yeah. More. So this is a very, very popular cabinet color. It gives you the two-tone look. Now, Chris, is this uh, is this option available throughout the Montana line, or is it select models? Any Montana floor plan, you can get the cottage white. Love it. It looks different based on the floor plan. Sure. So when we eliminate the cooktop here to give you additional counter space, we now bring it over into this area right here, mm -hmm. which is unheard of. Yes. Okay. What I want to show you also is the counter space on both sides as well, too. Now, I'm going to give away a secret here. I'm sure R&D in the RV business is not research, development, rip off and duplicate. <laughs> so I'm sure somebody's going to have this pretty soon here. <laughs> yep. Notice how this pulls out here. Mm -hmm. Notice how we can give you more counter space. Now, if I have too much counter space, will you let me know? <laughs> but I'll... also, you have your drawers here as well, too. Again, now this gives you separation. A lot of people like to cook. Oh, they yeah. want as much counter space as popular. Okay. And I love the hood. That's beautiful. The hood, top. especially with the cottage white, really pops. Yes. Here, I'm going to show you another secret. Oh, get out. Look at this. Gas struts. It. Look at the storage underneath there as well, too. That is awesome. A nice hood. Decorative. Love it. All solid wood. What? A, it, honestly, Chris, that's a great use of space. <laughs> you know, I mean, that's... It, throughout everything we've seen so far at this floor plan, I mean, you have a ton of storage sure. and stuff like that. You know, when you talk about actual R&D, like that is just mm -hmm. something I, I've never seen in the industry today. In all Montanas, except this floor plan right here, we normally have a vent, a hood vent on the outside. Being we don't have a hood vent here because it's against a bath wall, we give you two standard. Okay. These are power vent fans with rain sensor. Okay. They're both standard. Love so it. this one just assist the other way as well too. Very cool. Okay, So this is what we call our CK, our center kitchen. And I feel very confident this is gonna be the 2020 RV of the year, under 37 feet. Because what I wanna talk about, you really can't hear it now, but your air conditioning is on. Mm -hmm. This is your Coleman Whisper Quiet Air Conditioning. It's 30 to 35% quieter than a standard RV air conditioner. The biggest complaint for years in the RV industry was the loudness of your air conditioning. Yep. And you know what's amazing about that is your TV could never get away from your air conditioner. <laughs> the TV go over here, the air conditioner would follow it. Sure it seems that way. <laughs> it seems that it's always where your air conditioner is, there's your TV. Yep. So being quieter, okay, now you don't have to turn your TV up as loud. And when your TV is quieter, now you don't have to turn, you don't have to talk over both of them. Also, that does have an electric heat pump in as well too. Okay. So six, we have dual 15,000 whisper quiets on the Montanas. Bedroom and, and living room, we'll talk about it. The back also has a electric heat pump. Most campgrounds you go to, the electric's included in the rent. Yep. Burn their, burn their electric. Burn it. Save your propane. Yes, sir. So with your electric yeah, fireplace. Propane, or the fireplace there. Fireplace, yep. 5100 beats you. Electric, again, gives you that flame look. Gives it a light and also it has a fan which will take the chill out. That's 5100 BTU. The heat pump is 16,500. So, in a matter of minutes and a chilly morning, that heat pump could take the chill out because that runs through your air conditioning ducts all the way through the whole coach. 
And if you need to, you still have your 35,000 BTU furnace, which does run on propane. And, you know, we're talking about savings. Mm -hmm. And Chris, this is the first time this one's being, being debuted. And folks, we have an amazing price for the Ultimate RV Show. We're offering this one at under $70,000. That's the starting price on it. On something like this, it, the features it has, the colors it has, and you're looking at starting at $426 a month. Chris, for this, that's very reasonable. That's a super reasonable price. Folks, to take advantage of that, you simply text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comments section. With that, we'll be able to reach out to you. You can get a virtual visit, be able to walk through one if it's nearby on your lot. And if it's not, that's great because what we can do is we can put your name on it. Because correct me if I'm wrong, Chris, something tells me these are going to be a little bit before they're built and readily available. And when someone puts their name on it, they get priority. Well, Camp World Gander put their name on a lot of them. <laughs> so I would highly recommend that you put your name on there. They have a limited production for them Yep. Uh, on this floor plan right here. So I would not hesitate. Awesome. Awesome. I love it. Now, Chris, one of the things that I noticed, and I'm kind of stepping on it right over here, and I see it on the other side, is you guys don't have carpet in here. We've eliminated carpet. Don't have any carpet at all. This is a vinyl flooring right here. Uh, it's, it doesn't soak up stains, doesn't get as dirty. And what we've done, if you notice on our kitchen slide on the off door side, that is now a flush. You used yeah. to have a two inch lip on all kitchen slides. That is now a flush slide. That That's way awesome. you don't kick your toes. Also, if you notice here on the door side, again here as well too, I've seen these uh, in pontoons also. Yes, yep. You know? They're trying to eliminate carpet. It just carpet is a thing of the past. Okay, I'll, I want to show you the pedestal-free dinette table that we have standard in all Montanas. Please do. How this works is we have two hard chairs. The other two hard chairs are folding. Okay. And this floor plan, they're up in the front washer dryer closet. Okay. Because most this couple have told these people have told us that normally it's two people. Mm -hmm. If you have four hard chairs. It's hard to store the other two yes because they're bulky yeah absolutely how this extends you have a lever on the left side the table pulls right out you can lift it up and you have storage underneath what i want to show you this comes out here flip underneath and there's your extension right here now that is easy notice no pedestal underneath the table nothing to hit your knees on now i do want to show you something else it's what we call the chair buddy okay when traveling, this right here lifts up, and you just put the chairs underneath here, and it holds the chairs in place when you travel. Well, that's super easy. Normally, you have to take straps, strap it down to the floor, Absolutely. And, and, you know, yank on them. They're kind of sometimes they, a pain. They scratch your wood. <laughs> yep. You know, the straps, they scratch the wood. You have to, now you have to store the straps. Yep. But that's more I'd produce that. It's what we call the chair buddy. Love Very it. nice and convenient. It's just the small things. And it's not the big things that sell. It's the small things that sell. Well, and you know, Chris, and I say that, you know, when I do videos, I say the exact same mm -hmm. things. Because what it shows me, things like that, it shows that the manufacturer is thinking about, you know, the, the actual RV itself. They're not sure. just making a product, you know, kind of run of the mill. They're trying to kind of revolutionize the industry and think about things that a lot of other manufacturers aren't thinking about to make life easier on the customer. And realistically, that's what it's all about. It's making life easy. That's... That's why we're putting this show on. That's the ultimate RV show is all about, yeah. is people are getting to shop right from the comfort of their home with this. Being, being the king of the hill for fifth wheels, you know, our suppliers, they knock on our door first. Yep. They all have great ideas. Mm -hmm. And we engineer them. We just don't grab something, run with it. We engineer it. But you know what? If I'm a supplier, I'm going, I'm going where I get the, my most bang for the buck. I Absolutely. go to Montana. Yep. It's just a matter of time before others have it. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what I'm showing you today, your competition will probably have it about a year. Sure, okay. sure. <laughs> Such as the USB 110 USB ports right here. Yep. Notice how they retract down, and they also pop up as well, too. Yep. And I have that in the kitchen also on the left-hand side as well, too. Yep, a couple different the places there for the it. in the kitchen as well also. With frameless windows. Mm. Today, we're wet. It poured today. Yes, it did. With frameless windows, they give you the jealousy feature. Notice how they slope out. Jealousy, you can have these windows open when it rains. Because if you have sliders up, down, or sideways, you get a little breeze, the water comes right through the screen. So these are jealousy windows here. Now, Chris, one of the things I noticed, I don't mean to interrupt, but you're a pretty tall guy. And how tall are you? Six foot six. Six foot six, and you are fully standing in the slide. These are six foot six tall slides right here. 
The taller slides you have in, the bigger the windows are. The bigger windows you have, the more daylight. Don't know about you, but I, I don't like being claustrophobic. I absolutely agree. And with big windows to give you protection, whether it's night and daytime, as we do have on the Montana Standard, we do have day shades. We also have night shades. Dual, Love it. All throughout the whole coach. Okay, that will also eliminate the heat in the daytime as well, too. And it gives you privacy. No more pleated shades. No more wood Venetian shades. Yes. We're putting solid features in there. Also, here's a key thing, too, people don't think about. A lot of manufacturers have eliminated these, le have eliminated these legs. Mm -hmm. Do you know what happens by eliminating these legs? Tell me. Do you realize in the daytime, for example, here, if I have the shade down here or at nighttime, it's the gonna legs. It's going to peek right through. Yeah, you have, you have about a half to three quarter inch gap. And you're yep. going to have daylight. Mm hmm Okay? Yeah, so that's a great point. So by putting the legs on here, it eliminates the light. It, elimin it gives you more privacy, too. Yeah. Because, you know, people stand outside, they can see down right through the sides of them. Oh, yeah. That, that's that's actually a great point, Chris. It's never something I thought about, but you were absolutely correct. And and I think it looks naked without the legs. Yeah, it gives it a little more. Yeah, absolutely. It's attention to detail. Now, you have theater seats in this floor plan, too, straight across from the TV. We do. On a Montana, the theater seats are power recline. Okay. They're also heat. They're also massage. And they also have lights as well, too, on them with a USB port on both sides as well, too. Now, this floor plan right here, okay, is a shorter floor plan. So you'll have a center armrest. Okay. Now, we get into the 40, 41 foot you'll have a larger center armrest as well also. Sure, but I, I love that you're actually able to put one in there because uh, you know, I've seen a lot of manufacturers and they have mm -hmm. like the little uh, removable one. The pontoon. Yep. But, yep, but but it just doesn't stay as well as what you have here. It just here. all blends, you get no separation. Correct. I mean, I, you know, listen, I, I love my wife, <laughs> but she wants to have her privacy at times, so I give her that much. six inches of, <laughs> I give her six inches of privacy. So even like also you have a dimmer switch here as well too. I just hold your finger on it. Okay. Okay. Just again, attention to detail as well. 12 volt ceiling fan. If you're pulling like over that. for an afternoon or for a lunch or something, you don't have to be powered to electric. It's a 12 volt multi directional ceiling fan as well, too. Very cool. And remember, folks, this is the, the premiere, the Montana 3231CK. If you're interested, you're going to want to get your name on one now so you're able to get one in the spring. Text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comment section. Trust me, we're going to move through a lot of these. As Chris said, this is going to be a very hot floor plan. I'm sure you'll love it. Make sure you text EZRV. Ian, we could be here all night talking about this. We only got so much time. If <laughs> yes, I don't get sir. there before midnight, they're going to get my hotel room away. <laughs> but we have here also, we have, a, we have a central vacuum with toe kick. Okay. Here's your port right here, which you have a 25 foot expandable hose. Also, this is what we call the toe kick right here. When it sweeps in, you can sweep grass right up in there and it just sucks it right up in there. And then it empties in your pass through storage. Super simple. No more of those chargeable wizards where it takes eight hours to charge and <laughs> only runs 15 minutes. Let me show you another huge selling feature. Let me come on in here. Plan. Oh. Love it. Right there. That Dual th sinks. This is what I call the marriage saver. This is our <laughs> largest bathroom that we have in the Montana. Is in this floor plan right here, along That's with the 3781RL that has dual sinks and also our 3931 front bath and a half. Notice the nice large dual sinks. Yep. Notice where the toilet is located. It's not stuck in a corner. Look at that. I'm a big guy. Room. On a good day, I'm 265. <laughs> But I need room. Okay. Yes, sir. What do you have behind you, Ian? I got a window, sir. Don't homes have windows behind toilets? Yeah, yes, they a, do. It's a, it's a thing. Yeah. So, again, motor home mentality. You have a nice window that opens up behind the toilet. Yep. So you can get some fresh air. Love it. Also, a 30-inch by 48-inch one-piece fiberglass shower with a seat. And that's one of the things that, you know, a lot of times, Chris, I don't, I think that people miss the value of having a one piece shower. And when you don't have seams, it's less chance for leaks. I mean, this is water inside your RV all the time. When you stood in there, it did not sink. Not at all. It's plastic very pans, solid. Plastic pans, the plants have to 
put little two by twos under there to, to beef it up. You have no opportunity for leak. The double sided tape doesn't come off from the surround. It's a one piece fiberglass shower with a seats, 30 inch by 48 inch. Every bathroom we have in the Montana Inn has an air conditioning duct and a heat duct. Look at that. Again, if you're going to be away from home, you might as well take home with you. There you go. Well, Chris, let's hit the bath or the bedroom real quick so we have time to get outside. Looks like we're running a little low on time, my friend. Gotcha. There's so many features to cover. Quiet cool. Here's your whisper quiet cool. Dual 15,000 B2 air conditioning in Montana. Both whisper quiet cool. You've never slept so good in your RVing career until you get into a Montana. Okay? Because now. It's quiet. It's almost going to put you to sleep. There you this go. This is a 72 inch wide by 80 inch long king bed. You can full still get residential queen. size. Yep, they full, full 80 residential inches. Size here. Roller shades in this floor plan right here too. Like all of them, we have a window right in the headboard, and that's Love a that. cushioned headboard. So you can it's, actually lean up against it. It's, it's functional. Not wood. It's yeah. Not wood like at the hotel. You know, you're like you get a crimp <laughs> in your back. You know, you get a splinter in your back. It's nice cushion. You have countertops on both sides. And look where we put the 110 outlets, sleeping machines, yep. you know, alarm clocks, anything that's elevated. Most of them you have to go searching down on the sides or they may not even have them. Yep. Standard 32 inch bedroom TV. All of our TVs, family room and bedroom, are on swing arms. Washer dryer closet here, okay? Stackable washer dryer closet in all Montana floor plans. Okay? And I, I love that it's stackable. Because with the wash and dryer prep, folks, you have to think about a six gallon wa water heater is not going to get it done. We have a 12 gallon gas and electric water heater standard on all Montanas. And in the front wardrobe floor plans, you have a nice hamper. There you go. And a nice storage for shoes, hanging storage as well. That's amazing. Benefit of a high profile fifth wheel, Ian, is the overall height. There you go. Six foot eight height in the bedrooms and the bathrooms. It's not like your shorter, smaller fifth wheels where the roof line drops down right here. Yep. It's full height. I love it. Well, Chris, let's hit the outside features real quick okay. while we still have a, a little bit of time here. Again, folks, text EZRV to 32094 or put EZRV in the comments to be able to put your name on the brand new Montana. Let's head on out, sirs. Tell me a little bit about some of the outside features here. All Montanas have a standard 12 inch I beam frame, standard 7,000 pound Dexter axles, standard six point hydraulic auto leveling all standard. The only options that we put on this floor plan right here was king bed and slide toppers. That's it. Everything else in the price you gave includes <laughs> all that. Yes, we sir. keep it simple. We don't give you a lot of different options because it gets difficult. Yep. One thing I want to talk about is the drop frame. You Look have a 12 inch high beam frame and notice the drop frame you have here because if it did not drop, your floor to your passenger storage would be right here. Yep. So it does drop that 12 inches to give the large pass-through storage. This is what he likes. Yeah. We've already <laughs> talked about what she likes. She's sold, she's sitting in there already. We're out here talking to him and showing him. You can this never have too much huge. storage. huge. Massive storage. Double awnings. Any Montana floor plan that has a super slide, sofa dinette slide, will have dual power awnings, okay? And you can see your frameless windows here as well, too. Yeah, it's covered, covering <laughs> the entire RV. I mean, the whole length of your campsite, you have awning coverage. Absolutely. Road armor, pin box. Your road armor pin box minimizes bucking and chucking. You have rubber right here, rotates front and back, minimizes bucking and chucking. Those of you that pulled fifth wheels, you get that bucking and chucking at decelerating and accelerating. And you want to finish up, Ian? Yeah, absolutely. And real quick, I do want to say, Chris, it's actually funny that you mentioned that because we transport a lot of RVs. Sure. And every RV transporter says they love towing a Montana. When I used to work for other manufacturers, it'd take two to three weeks to get a fifth wheel to a dealer. It takes me less than seven days with a Montana because these guys that deliver them can cherry pick on what they want to tow. I have no problem. They love towing Montanas. And that's them telling me. Right. Same with the retail customer. You got it. Well, folks, again, this is the brand new Montana 3231CK.